This session is now on the pivot point, but for a ship which is moving. So in the beginning we will start with a head speed and uh, we will explain it again with the very wonderful summon planning tool with fast time simulation. So we start here with the ship for the time being it's idle so we first increase the engines up to 30% ahead and um, so the ship is starting already with the initial speed here with 6.2 knots and these are the shapes indicating the ship positions every minute uh, ahead of this position. So now we want to discuss the pivot point for a turning circle maneuver. So we put the rudders, because that's a twin screw, twin rudder ship, we put the rudder to 35 degrees. And this is the result of the turning circle. And I will now indicate where the pivot point location is. For this reason, I will switch off the shapes. So we only see the small blue dots for the position of the um, common reference point of the vessel. And now we move the ship, which is now proceeding with a speed of six knots. So this is a speed vector. And now we want to demonstrate what the ship is doing. So we have put the rudder to 35 degrees, but at the beginning there's no rudder angle. If we use now this magic time slider, then we see that the rudder is moving every second until it's finally pushed forward to 35 degrees. And so it's 9 seconds, this is 10 seconds. And if we go further in this position, then we see what happens. I will go once back. So now it's every 10 seconds. So what you see is in the very beginning, the ship starts only turning. So the, um, we already have explained the, uh, the speed vector, which is now to three minutes. And now you see where the pivot point is located. This is the transfer speed at the bow, this one, half knot. And this is the transfer speed at the stern. So the stern is going with 1.5 knots in this direction. So the pivot point is located here. It starts from the center. In the beginning, there's pure turning. And now we see that the ship is, starts to drift. And then you see that the pivot point is moving in the direction of the ship's bow. So now we see it here. So it's close to the bow. Um, so this is in uh, agreement with what the ship handling books, ship seamanship's books are saying. Um, the question is, um, can we have effect of this situation? Um, can we move the pivot point to the aft end? Or if you want to show the shapes overlaid here, then you see that the ship is highly drifting, so the swept path of the ship is very big. So we would find a solution where we have no drift angle because then we avoid the, the swept path. Any idea what we could do with the ship? We are using, instead of the rudder, which is located at the aft end of the ship, we are using the bow thruster, which is at the front end of the ship. So we switch back the, the rudder to zero, and then instead we are using the bow thruster. Maybe we should go a little bit less, so this is with only four knots around. So we use the bow thruster now, and then you see what the difference is. The difference is that the pivot point is really moving to the aft, so it's behind the center of gravity behind a midship position. And what we see is that the, um, the shapes are really lined up like on a chain of pearls. So there's nearly no drift angle. Even worse, 
the drift angle is a little bit to the outside. So no drift angle in this direction. The drift angle is in this direction because the bow thrusts are so powerful to establish an equilibrium of the forces and moments, the ship needs now a little bit drift angle to the outside. This is also the reason that the, the turning circle is not that small. No. Okay, but to really take advantage, we might use the rudder on top. So if you use the rudder with now 10 degrees, then the, the re ships are really good lined up, no big uh, swept pass, and the, the, uh, the position of the pivot point is nearly at the center. If it's nearly at the center, it, mo it means that the rate of turn, um, uh, that the drift angle is zero. If, if, if it's at the center, then it means the drift angle, the drift motion of the ship is zero. It's only advancing around a circular motion. Okay, this is, uh, by the way, if you want to affect the pivot point further, we could use an extra force from outside. Let's say the wind force, if we, oh, sorry. Um, if, we are, if we play like our Lord and say, okay, we have wind, then uh, I would indicate a wind speed here and, and I would set the wind speed uh, to, let's say, 30 knots and it, it's from north. So enter would mean, this is now the situation, that the, the, the pivot point, I will move it a little bit forward, so the pivot point is now at the, behind the stern of the vessel. Because of the high drifting speed, the pivot point leaves the ship shape and goes even behind the stern. So this can be um, created by an external force like wind, because the wind is always uh, connected with drifting. Okay, I remove the, the ship, uh, the, the wind now here, and we want to learn now about a stern speed. Um, I move it the, a little bit in this direction. And if we use, instead of a head 20 knots, we will look what happens if we go astern. So now you're going astern. And I should say, for this maneuver, we kept the bow thruster. We kept the bow thruster. So in this case, the bow thruster is at the end of the vessel, seen in the direction of the motion. So it has the same effect like a rudder. So we create a big drift angle. So the ship is really drifting now. And the consequence is that the, uh, in the same way as for the forward motion, the pivot point is located shortly yeah, after the front end of the ship, the stern, which is now going ahead of the vessel. So the bow thruster has the same effect as the rudder in the ahead motion. But what would the rudder mean if I use, instead of the thr bow thruster, I use now the rudder, uh, which is now going in front of the part. So I switch off the thruster and instead I use the rudder pointing now in this direction. So it's now 40 degree. Uh, you may know that the, well, I switch it to another scale here, to 50. So what we see here is uh, the same effect as we had before in the ahead motion with the bow thruster. If we now have the rudder going ahead of the ship, then we have the same pearl chain we had seen before. And the same effect we could create using instead, uh, you, know, you see that the rudder has not so much effect.
because due to the rudder shape now the edge is going in front so there's no big lift force and of the rudder. So I remove the rudder here and instead we are using the stern thruster. And you see, okay, the stern thruster is much more effective. And again, the pivot point is located in the ship's center, a midship position. Yeah, this should explain what measures, what options you have to have effect on the pivot point position and mostly to the benefit that in case you need uh, a crossing through a small channel so you have not uh, enough space then you might prefer to go astern or ahead with a bow thruster. So you have learned a lot about the, how to say, the measures to have effect on the pivot point. Thanks for listening.